Sticky, icky, yucky, yucky shame. Unlike most substances that make you feel gross, shame can never be washed off. It's time for the top 10 most shameful moments in human history. Number 10, Yes Men. I talk about World War II a lot on this channel, but it's hard not to. It's the biggest, baddest war ever. So it would have been nice to avoid the whole thing, really. Wouldn't have been, it would have been great. And honestly, it, it could have been. But more interesting, I think, and pretty shameful, was how the world treated the rise of Mustache Man. Germany, after World War I, went from stinky zero to hunky hero in just a couple decades, thanks to the evil and terrible deeds of Mustache Man. When Mustache Man wanted more territory, the Allied nations practiced something called appeasement. Basically, okay, you can have Austria, but no Czechoslovakia, that's out of bounds, you can't have it. Then he would go and take it, and nothing was done about it. Mustache Man steamrolled his way through Europe, when really, he could have been stopped years prior. Shameful, really. Number nine, stirring the pot. I had to get these two out of the way. World War I, big shame on that one, Chief. Being one of the main causes of World War II is a great point, but for my money, it's how it even started in the first place. Europe was seeing rising tensions as every major power in the neighborhood was bulking up like Johnny Bravo on steroids. They were also looking at gaining more land, which is typical, but what wasn't was the blaming and name game that everyone seemed to uphold. After Franz Ferdinand was shot in Sarajevo, what could have been a conflict between Serbs and Austrians exploded into the worst global conflict at the time, until the sequel. Russia declared war on Austria, Germany declared war on them, then France with a rebuttal, and then the Ottomans were there too. It was just really a big mess. It's shameful how much human life was lost in such a short time, arguably over nothing. Number eight. Mad. For our older audience, they may remember a scarier time in life when the Soviet Union and the United States were at each other's throats. The Cold War. Not sure why it's called the Cold War, because uh, there was a lot of hot wars in that time period. And you know what's hotter than war, right? Nuclear Armageddon. Yes, this was a time of great panic and fear, as the threat of nuclear war was very real. I don't have enough time to bring up every incident, but things did escalate. Checkpoint Charlie, the Cuban Missile Crisis, some radar issues. You get the point. I went over to see the chief last night, and you know what? He said it wasn't it. Mutually Assured Destruction was the acronym made to comfort most people in the idea that if one nuclear weapon is detonated, then all of them will, in response, destroy one another. Which I think is very shameful. Nukes are just the worst. Let's put them away. Put them away. We don't need them, guys. Come on. Number seven. When in doubt, throw it out. In 2022, I don't have to tell you about climate change or the effects on the environment. If I do, then perhaps a few episodes of Bill Nye the Science Guy will help you along the way. It's a good show. But what's very shameful is how we treated this big blue and green spinning ball we all live on. And oh yes, I said ball. Earth is not round. Sorry not sorry flat earthers. Since the industrial revolution, it's been nothing but high pollution and dumping garbage in the ocean. Which, hey, I get it. Out of sight, out of mind. I do the same thing when ice falls from the dispenser from the fridge. What do you expect me to do? Pick it up, mom? Pfft. How about sweep it underneath the fridge with the already dirty pair of socks, mom? Nice try though. But seriously, the way we treated our own planet is shameful. It's our home, how we came to be. And we just haven't been treating Mother Earth that well, really. Plus, I've seen Wally. I don't want to end up like that. So you make sure you recycle, eat your vegetables, and maybe only take the self-driving car out twice a week. I don't know. Number six, YouTube's favorite S word. Come on, you know I had to talk about this. This is just very shameful. Well, most people think of America during the S trade days. It is not an American invention. It has been happening for thousands of years and sadly still continues today in certain corners of the world. I like people. I like most people. And for one, I could never bring myself to ever treat another person this way. It is a very shameful part of human history in general. And hopefully one day there will be a world where that has been eradicated completely. I'd like to talk more on this subject, but it's a topic that deserves a real conversation. Not from a mildly funny Chris Farley-like comedian on the internet. Sorry. Number five. Look, Ma, I've got three arms. Nukes are bad. Radiation is bad. I, for one, wouldn't want a third arm. As much as I love General Grievous, but we've been over that. But once again, for our older audience, and or people who were around in the 1980s, they might remember something of a real disaster with nuclear results. No, not a bomb or a missile, but a nuclear reactor malfunction. The Chernobyl disaster was a malfunction in Chernobyl reactor number four that caused a meltdown, kind of like me when I'm reading right now. Explosions in the reactor lead to very lethal amounts of radiation. The handling of the situation was shameful to say the least, as poor design and negligence is to blame. The nearby city of Pripyat had to evacuate. 
50,000 people used to live here, and now it's a ghost town. That was for all my Call of Duty fans in the audience, but yes, that is what they're talking about in the game. To this day, the city is abandoned, and people will not be able to return for many, many years to come. This accident did claim the lives of many people, and the health effects of the radiation are still being monitored today. Number four, Sleeping Giant. December 7th, 1941 was a beautiful day, just like any other at Pearl Harbor Naval Base in Honolulu. When out of the skies came barreling down Japanese aircraft looking to cripple the American Navy so Japan could continue conquering the Pacific without anyone getting in their way. As dishonorable as the sneak attack was, it did make sense, in theory. Crippling the American Navy would be a great idea and buy you a lot of time. They destroyed battleships and 2,000 Americans lost their lives in the shameful surprise attack. It is too bad, however, that the objective was not fully completed because America was going to get its revenge. And honestly, they kind of deserved a little revenge after that, let's be honest. American aircraft carriers were not present at Pearl Harbor, and while the damage was bad with the attack, it inspired everyone across the country. And with America's industrial strength, whatever was destroyed, the Pacific Fleet was back up and running shortly after that. Way faster than the Japanese thought it was gonna happen. Number three. I'll never let go, Jack. I'll never let go. The Titanic. Everyone knows the Titanic, and everyone remembers the steamy scene from the movie in the back of what looks like the first car ever made. Nice. But what's shameful about Titanic is the hubris of its claim to fame. An unsinkable ship that well, was thought to be unsinkable. Well, now it's at a very deep point in the Atlantic Ocean, so that plan didn't exactly work out, did it? There were some safety measures put in place, but who needs them when your ship will never founder? There's many theories on how and why the Titanic sank, from the lack of lifeboats, the captain, and even its construction and design. But definitely, it was a hard sell on the unsinkable. You'd be surprised how vulnerable you are when you assume that you're invulnerable. Very true. Number two. Lethal production. The American Civil War was the crucible that shaped America. A few years of brutal fighting, brother versus brother, had left its mark on the country. President Abraham Lincoln had survived the war and the chaos of the politics that forced a nation into civil war. Emancipation Proclamation set a severely brutalized people free from their bonds. So after all this hair pulling stress, Lincoln found himself in Ford's theater for some entertainment. What Lincoln actually got was a bullet in the head by John Wilkes Booth, failed actor and shameful killer. Say what you will about Lincoln's top hat and beard, Lincoln held the country together the best he could. I don't know if anyone today had the leadership to match his. Shame he wasn't around longer. Who knows what else he could have accomplished. Number one, the Vietnam War. Probably the most humbling moment in American history. The Vietnam War was America's response to contain the evil spread of the evil communism and to just get rid of those pesky communists. What was thought to be an easily winnable war turned into a tragic loss of life for both sides and a snipe storm from the media in America, criticizing the American involvement in the first place. Eventually, America would have to pull out of Vietnam and leave a bad taste in everyone's mouth. While I'm not sure the war for Vietnamese independence can be prevented, the American involvement could have been, and thus is a mistake that many to this day cannot forget. That's gonna wrap it up today, guys. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe here at Bumblebee. And if you too don't feel any shame, check out my socials down in the description. Stay sweet, my little honeybees.